Hello, my name is Walt Schultz, and I'm just one of the people here uh, responsible for this Shannon Amphoil project. Amphoils are not like any other boat. It's not a catamaran or any conventional electric hydrofoil boat. It's totally new technology. Amphoils are actually the first boat in history to combine catamaran stability with energy efficient hydrofoil lift supplemented with breakthrough, breakthrough, surface effect lift, surface effect and ground effect, same thing. No one has ever used surface effect effectively on a boat before. And there's another big element to this whole amfoil thing. Be patient with me here. Everyone knows about combustion engines and related pollution and on and on. But no one seems to know or talk about the magic of electric motors. There is nothing more efficient that we have available to us than an electric motor. And this is important, especially on boats. What's the big deal? Electric motors mean more range, using less energy. On a boat, you have to carry the energy source with you located inside the hull in tanks or batteries or whatever. Less energy required translates into less weight, which translates into the further a boat can go. It's, it's simple mathematics. But here's the big, and it's a big problem, really big problem, that has plagued and retarded hydrofoil technology for over a hundred years. It doesn't matter what the energy source is. Diesel, gasoline, batteries, hydrogen fuel cells, uh, nuclear fission. If you couple it to a water propeller, you're going to lose 50% of that energy because of the massive, massive inefficiencies created by water propellers. I've been at this for a long time, and I've been dealing with it. But I know what it sounds like, but it's true. You take a 100 horsepower diesel engine, or powered by whatever, gas engine, and you couple it to a boat water propeller, and you only get 50 horsepower worth of thrust out of that motor. And that's on a good day, a good day. That's right. 50% of the energy consumed is totally wasted and lost because of the inefficiencies of water propeller thrust. No one wants to talk about this, no one, all right? But it's a fact, all right? It's complicated physics, but the energy consumption to thrust ratios on water propellers is simply terrible, terrible. And it's barely changed in over 100 years. So, we're using on the amfoil for the first time super efficient ducted electric air propellers for both lift and propulsion. It, it, it's all drone technology. I've been waiting for years for this to happen. Uh, it's used on drone type helicopters and drone aircraft, but it's never never been used on a hydrofoil boat. So, we are actually able to increase the thrust ratios from a dismal, dismal 50% efficiency to over 85% efficiency using ducted air propellers. That's a 35%, 35% increase, and it's a game changer. A, it changes everything for hydrofoil technology. Okay, so what does this mean? Uh, amfoils will travel 60 to 70 miles an hour 
over the waves, over the waves, just right above it, on a smooth cushion of molecular surface effect air so efficiently, they will be able to travel 350 nautical miles using a hybrid electric propulsion. We have international uh, patents in, in countries all over the world on, uh, on airfoil technology. And, and we've already had a prototype in the water three years ago uh, to test and prove this concept. I'm not dreaming. But I had to wait for electric air propulsion motor technology to catch up with us. We're building this 20-foot drag boat behind me so we can get a full analysis. That way we can spec out the correct size motors and batteries for larger amfoil models. I think it's worth the trouble to take it if you take the time, but thanks for taking the time to watch, watch me on this video.